MJ Acosta is here with more. Hi, MJ. Well, Laz, another week of the preseason down, and our first round draft pick, Joey Bosa, he still has his flight to San Diego on hold, but the Chargers' second round draft pick is putting in work and then some. I caught up with rookie tight end Hunter Henry as he prepares for his first NFL season. Zero down, baby. Just like on those routes, baby. Those routes and those run blocks. That's why he's here. That's why Chargers' he's here. rookie tight end Hunter Henry is making quite the impression on his teammates. The Bolts' second round draft pick hit the ground running from the moment he landed in San Diego. His work ethic is clear, and he's usually one of, if not the last player off the field after practice. That kind of discipline tends to be inherent. You know, this level, you have to be the best. Um, so just trying to do little things at the, at the end of practice that I can make my game better. Um, try to do anything I can to try to be the best, best player I can be uh, every single day because you're going against the best every single week. So, you know, you got to have your game at the top of its level. In his last year at AU, Henry had 51 catches for 739 yards and three scores on the year. While the stats were certainly in his favor, the six foot five Arkansas native brought a lot more than just numbers from his alma mater. There's a there's a motto that I I tried to live by. I learned in AAU from my AAU coach was hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard enough. Um, and really kind of took that to heart once I got to high school and really was like, you know, I really gotta put this into action. So try to do that every single day. Another great attribute for Henry is his focus. Even when teammates like Joe Barksdale are trying their best to throw him off his game. Oh man, the O-line, they're already my guys. Uh, <laughs> especially Joe on the right side. Um, love them. So it's, it's been fun to get close during camp. That's always some, the best times really is when you get, you get to get real close. With training camp in the books and the season opener around the corner, Henry is looking to solidify his spot on the Chargers 53-man roster. He's humble enough not to say that he's got it in the bag, but he is setting some pretty big goals for his rookie season. I want to try to be one, of the, you know, for sure the best rookie tight end um, in the league. I want to try to contribute um, as much as I can on the field, be on the field as much as I can, and be able to contribute to this team and try to help us win as many games as we can. Hunter's work ethic wasn't just something he learned. He was born with it, really. Football is literally in his genes. His father, Mark, played offensive tackle for Arkansas from 90, 1988 to 1991 and served as team captain his senior year. So I have a good idea, lads, what those dinner table conversations were like in the Henry household. Pretty there. sure I do, too. <laughs> so Gates will get the bulk of the playing time and the production at tight end. How much can we expect out of Henry this year? Really, this is going to be a developmental year uh, for Henry, in my opinion. I'm not sure how much time he'll actually get on the field, but the Chargers seem to be giving him a good amount of reps. I think he's hungry and certainly talented, so given the chance, he can really have a breakout season. Terrific. Thanks, MJ. Seems like a nice young man. Final thoughts on what we have seen so far this preseason. All right, so here's what I got so far. At this point in the preseason, I'm still cautious, cautiously optimistic of what I'm seeing so far. However, you want to think that the preseason is a realistic gauge for the state of a team, but so much can change, especially once you're in the real schedule. I think, however, the Bolts still have some things to correct on both sides of the ball. What's really concerning me right now are the injuries. I mean, when you lose guys like Brandon Oliver and Stevie Johnson, before you even get to your season opener, that's just not a good look. Yeah, I agree with MJ. Those injuries are definitely going to hurt.